back to my channel. So in today's video, I decided to do my everyday makeup routine. Now, I don't wear makeup every single day, but if I were to go to the movies or lunch or running errands, or if I just want to wear makeup and I don't really have that much time, then this is the makeup look that I go for. All the products that I used are pretty much my holy grail products and just products that I reach for every day. So if you'd like to see how I created this everyday makeup look then please keep watching. So for primer I like the Model Co Face Base Primer. It's just a silicon based um, primer and it's really really hydrating. Um, the first time I put it on my skin it felt like it feels like oil. Like it feels like oil going on your skin and you're probably thinking why would I want oil on my skin when I already have oily skin. Oh shit a lot just came out. But I feel that um, every time I wear this, my foundation over the top just looks so flawless and it lasts all day. So that's why I like it. For foundation, I tend to lean towards the CoverGirl 3-in-1 um, Stay Fabulous foundation. And it is seriously the best, one of the best foundations I've ever used in my life. However, it only lasts up to four to five hours on my skin. But literally every time I wear that foundation, someone compliments my skin. Like, it just looks so flawless, so full coverage, which is what I like. I don't tend to go for BB creams or CC creams. As you can see, I don't have the best skin ever. So I like to wear foundation on a daily basis, but that's just my own personal preference. So I'm going to go ahead and mix 857 and 842, which are the two darkest colors, because I am fake tan, and this one is really, really dark. So I'm just going to pump a few pumps on that. Whoops. I'm using the original Beauty Blender. This is just what works best for me, and I absolutely love it. It is quite pricey. I think it's like $30 or something. But I do have the Chi Chi sponges that are like $5 or something, and they are pretty good as well. So... I would recommend those if you're not willing to spend um, $30 on this one. So as you can see, I'm just bouncing that all over my face as I always would. I just think the color of these foundations are like made for people that tan. I swear to God, they are so smart. Also, I did post on my Snapchat asking you guys if you would like to see like a half and half drugstore and high end um, makeup tutorial. And I wasn't going to do that for my everyday makeup tutorial just because I figured I never use high-end products anyway, so I just decided to go ahead and just stick with the products that I actually use every day instead of having to pick out um, drugstore alternatives, but I'll definitely do a video um, of like a smoky eye or something like that with half um, drugstore and half high-end, so yeah. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to go in with my favourite under eye concealer. It is the Maybelline Fit Me in the lightest shade, and I'm just putting that underneath my eyes. Seriously, this is my favorite concealer. Like, I, I have the NARS one, and I have the Urban Decay one, and nothing compares to this, and it's not even half the price. Like, I actually don't know what I would do without this concealer. So now I'm just blending that in. So lately what I've been using to set my concealer is the Face of Australia Translucent Powder, which is what I use to bake. So I'm just using that on my e.l.f. blush brush, which I got from, I think it was Kmart and it was like $8. It's so good for setting your concealer. So now I'm just going to set the rest of my face with my favourite setting powder. It is the Australis Fresh and Flawless in Darkest Brown. If you've been watching all my videos, I swear I've just used this in every single video because I absolutely love it. So for bronzer, I'm going to use the Dallas by Benefit. It's literally the best bronzer I've ever used and I've only had it for like, how long have I used this? Five days and it's already become my favourite. So. I've been using this one every single day. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my number one contour product. It is the first box that I have and I'm almost done. Like this has lasted me, I would say a good two years and it still hasn't given up on me. So I'm just going to use the brush that it came with, which is by the way amazing, and contour my cheeks. So 
So for blush, I'm going in with Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I absolutely love this. It doesn't really look too much. Like, I love how it's glowy and it's not just like a pink matte blush. So for highlighter, I usually use the Mary Lou Luminizer by The Balm. It's just my favorite highlighter in the whole wide world. But I thought I would show you guys what Champagne Pop, which is the recent collaboration with Jaclyn Hill here on YouTube. So I thought I would put this one on today. I have Opal and I freaking love it. So I really, really hope that this one is as good. I haven't used it yet, so I'm so excited. Dead. That is the definition of highlight on fleek. Holy hell. So to contour my nose, I'm going to use the Hula again and contour down the sides of my nose. Also, just a tip when contouring your nose, don't go like this and contour your nose because I've seen so many people do that and it actually makes your nose look bigger. So what I like to do, I don't want to say it's the right way, but the way that it looks the best is just doing it literally like down the bridge and then what I like to do is grab my highlighter and just use my finger to put down the bridge like that. so for eyes I just go super simple I'm just grabbing creme brulee by makeup geek which is just a really soft brown color and all I'm doing is placing that into my crease this is literally the easiest eye look anyone could ever do. So then I'm just going to darken the crease a little bit. I'm just going to use Cocoa Bear, just the slightest bit. Kind of aiming that towards my outer corner. So on my lid, I've started to use like loose pigments. So I'm going to place this pigment from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. It's called the... Snow Gold Light Reflective Loose Powder. The brush that I'm going to use is just a really um, thin, sort of flat shader brush. And then I like to spray some e.l.f. Mist and Set, which is really cheap compared to the Fix Plus. Alright, so I'm going to grab a little bit of the pigment. And literally placing that on my lid. This looks really like dramatic right now but I swear to you once I like blend it out it won't so I'm just blending the pigment sort of color into my crease so it's not as harsh so I've kind of toned it down a little bit and blended that into my crease so I'm just gonna go ahead and place it on my other lid so the eyeshadow should look something like that just really really super simple but what I'm going to amp it up with is my winged liner. I literally couldn't do my makeup without it. And when I do, in my opinion, I think I look so weird. So the eyeliner that I use is the Maybelline Eye Studio in the gel pot form. And I'm using that on a Sigma angled brow brush. I like to do like a medium sort of wing. So I like to start at the tail. Map out the wing. And then just connect it and yeah recently I've been stopping about three quarters of the way in and I feel like when I put my eyeliner all the way to the um, inner section of my eye it makes my eyes look smaller and like really beady when my eyes are actually really big so I like to accentuate that so I'm just finishing off the eyeliner like here So my wings are on and now I'm going to line my waterline and I like using nudes in my waterline because one, it's I think what suits me better than black and two, it makes your eyes look a lot brighter and bigger. So that is what I like to achieve. I'm using the Balm Mr. Right Now in Brian, but I absolutely love the Rimmel Exaggerate um, nude liner. So then for the bottom to even out the eyeshadow, I'm just going to grab creme brulee again 
and just lightly um, smoking out the bottom a little bit just so it's not completely blank. For mascara, I'm going to use my favourite Essence Mascara. It is called I Love Extreme. This one's my favourite. Now I'm just going to coat my top lashes. So you could totally finish the eye look just by wearing mascara, but I'm just going to go that one step further and put some lashes on. And these ones are the K-Lux Lashes in Maria. So for lip liner, I'm going to use the MAC Saw Lip Liner, which is one of my favourites in the whole world. And then I'm going to go in with Brave, which is my all-time favourite lip colour. So here you have it. Here is my everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you do, please give my video a big thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. You spent all that time cream contouring, but I'm just going to go ahead and set my face with powder and then powder contour, so why not just powder contour?